Every season of Survivor is a story. There are main characters, sidekicks, comic reliefs, and villains. A good season of Survivor tells a compelling story that has you rooting for someone and against someone else, in hopes that it will all end in a satisfying conclusion. Each story we look at together will go through one character's journey from beginning to end. From the time they're introduced until they inevitably get their torch snuffed or win the game or just die. We will look at every character moment and strategic move to determine whether they were a hero or a villain and whether they were a good or bad strategist. And with that, welcome to Meme View Island. Now, for reference, we are only going to be observing what the TV show is showing us and what story is being told through the show. No future seasons will be mentioned. Wait, that's a lie. Secret scenes may be included to flush out the story. And all character moments and strategic moves are interpreted with the mindset of what the story is trying to tell us. Now, with that... Who will have what it takes to outwit, outplay, and outlast all the rest? This is Survivor 44. Bruce Perriot, an insurance agent from Warwick, Rhode Island, was a castaway on Survivor 44. And let's not waste any time at meeting him as the season starts and he says, Oi! I'm happy to be him, mate. Oh! Wow, what conviction, what energy. He probably has more energy than Sammy, and he's 19. Well, it seems like Bruce is very charismatic, so he will definitely be making a long run in this season, unless a piece of wood destroys his dreams of playing Survivor. And then all the players, including Bruce, arrive to the island by boat. And then we get our first immunity challenge of the season. And Bruce is immediately showing off his physical abilities with this run. And then tragedy strikes. Bruce smacked his head on a pole and ripped open his cranium. This is not good. Jeff even had to call in medical. This is not good, homie. And after all hope seemed lost and we all just assumed Bruce was dead, medical clears him and he's allowed to play again. And Jeff even allows him to say, Survivor's ready, go. Survivor's ready! <gasps> go! But unfortunately, Bruce's tribe did not win the challenge because Carolyn absolutely sucks. And then we head to the Tika tribe on the first night of the season, and Bruce is not looking good. So Medical comes back in and looks at him, and they're like, yeah, bro, you're finna die. You should, you gotta leave. So that was the last time we ever saw Bruce on Survivor. Until now, baby, because Bruce is gonna be back for Survivor 45. Let's go. It's a miracle. He got revived by Moses himself. <laughs> So let's break this down. How was Bruce as a character? His funny faces, top notch. His running, 10 out of 10. His death scene, very interesting. His rebirth, immaculate. Out of 637 character moments on the show, 249 of them were heroic and 364 of them were villainous. That makes Bruce a super mega villain, even more villainous than the epic mega mind. Out of 9,234 strategic moments, 9 of them were smart and 3 of them were dumb. That makes Bruce a smart strategist. Good job, buddy. Thank you for watching, and double thank you for liking and subscribing. See you all later. Man, I hope Once Upon an Island doesn't sue me for this.